Hello, how are you doing? I am Junaid and welcome back again to Xfinity. Today I will show you how to fix this effect requires GPU acceleration error in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021. I will share four methods in this video to solve this error of GPU acceleration in Adobe Premiere Pro. So stay with me till the end of this video and don't forget to try all methods let's start to solve this problem all right fellas in this video we will see how we can fix the issue of uh, this effect requires the gpu acceleration in adobe premiere pro cc 2020 or 2021 but before starting this video make sure to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you can get notification at its first so in this video we will see uh, what is the problem with the premiere pro that shows the error of uh, uh, this effect requires gpu acceleration and what are the possible solutions to fix this error all right let us dive us straight into the premiere pro and see what is this issue and uh, how we can solve this problem all right fellas we are right inside the premiere pro and here first of all i will go to my project and i will import media to start as you can see i have successfully imported the, the video in my project yt demo and now i will drag it into my timeline and now you can see my timeline has been successfully processed now i will try to add effects on it like vr effects that shows the similar kind of error of uh, this effect requires a gpu acceleration all right uh, I will go to this arrow and uh, hit effects and in the search bar I will write VR and these are all kinds of effects that require GPU acceleration. So let me uh, grab VR color gradient and uh, apply on it. Now as you can see this shows me an error. As you can see this is showing me an error of uh, this effect requires a GPU acceleration and I am unable to use this effect on my video. So let us uh, uh, try another method. I will go to my media browser project and I will go to this page icon here and I will select adjustment layer and I will click on OK. Once my adjustment layer is created, I will drag it on the top of my video and I will extend it so that it can be properly adjusted and now I will remove my previous effect and now again I will go to my uh, effects and uh, drag and drop this on the adjustment layer. Still you can see it uh, does not work and this effect requires a GPU acceleration again method number one is uh, to convert it into the hardware acceleration all right so you need to uh, in order to fix this issue you need to go to file and after that you need to go to project settings and uh, hit general after that under general setting you need to make sure the renderer is selected as mercury playback engine gpu acceleration cuda if you have a nvidia graphics card you can select cuda but if you have AMD graphics card, you can select OpenGL or OpenCL, alright? And let us hit OK. Now I will remove everything and do all the steps again. I will go to my project YT demo. I will drag my adjust, uh, adjustment layer on the top of my video. And I will go to my effects and uh, select via color gradients and drag it on the adjustment layer and now you can see this effect is working just by changing the settings and let us try another uh, uh, vr glow i will drag it here and as you can see this effect has been successfully integrated i will also try to use this as you can see uh, this effect is properly working in adobe premiere pro cc by doing just one setting as you saw in my video 
now here is another solution if it does not work uh, you need to go to chrome browser once you are right inside uh, the google chrome browser you need to search cuda toolkit and hit enter and you need to go to this website cuda toolkit and video developer and here you can see the download button you need to click on this download button and here you need to select your operating system i have windows and i will select windows the next is it is asking for a 64 bit computer and i think 64 is the only available version and in version you need to select 10 and after that you need to select exe local and it will generate a base installer and as you can see the file size is too large and you need to download this uh, toolkit once you have successfully downloaded and installed the CUDA toolkit it is very easy you can simply you can simply just hit next and next it will properly install uh, your CUDA drivers all right so the first requirement is you must have nvidia graphics card or uh, amd graphics card if you have intel graphics card i do not guarantee that this method will work and if you are hoping to work uh, uh, for this method to work you need at least a powerful gpu to make this uh, method working all right and uh, there is another step uh, step number three uh, we need to go to geforce experience all right fellas so we are right inside the geforce experience and here you need to go to your drivers and after that you need to make sure uh, the game ready driver is not selected the studio driver is selected which is used for creative apps like uh, Adobe Photoshop Premiere Pro After Effects and once you select this you need to make sure your uh, Nvidia studio driver is selected and it is up to date and the last but not the least working method is you need to go to Nvidia control panel and navigate to manage 3d settings and here under global settings you need to change the following uh, controls so that your premiere pro uses maximum resources to increase the rendering speed and increases the performance overall and it will also fix the issue of uh, this effect requires a gpu acceleration to render all right i have made a very special video on this specific topic you can go click on the link in the description below and watch this video in detail or you can also click on the i button as you can see on the screen and uh, i have made a video on this topic specifically and uh, you can check this out and this video uh, 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 this video will show you every step by step how to uh, optimize nvidia control panel for premiere pro all right fellas so this was uh, pretty much it and i hope you like this video if you have any question regarding Premiere Pro, this effect requires GPU acceleration and if this method is not working, then you can contact me on Instagram or you can comment down below in this video. I will try my best to solve your issue and if you face any problem and uh, do let me know, I will try my best to solve it. That's why I am here and thank you so much for your support and uh, I hope to see you in my next video and I am also uh, going to start a series on uh, how how to upload a video on youtube and uh, everything about the youtube how to properly rank your video on youtube and uh, how to do a proper seo of your youtube and how to make an adsense account associated with it so that you can make more money out of it and uh, you can viral your videos only in within a week so thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day